Well, in a series of luck, I got him. I ran around the table. And I maybe went about seven more attempts. But I finally got him. So freaking her off for that, right? Um, again, I'm sorry I didn't capture that, but I really didn't want to, and I, I can't edit my stuff right now. I can only upload raw. So, <laughs> and that was just, I maybe was like, do add it for an hour, to be bluntly honest. But, uh, we got him. And so, I'm just tired. <laughs> If you can't tell by my, my voice, I'm just tired right now. Just the whole running around in circles. Just, it's, it's tiring. But we got him. And we got our assault rifle. I just hope we don't have to go at him again. That would kind of suck. Yo, know, it's raining now. Okay, now that Carlos has moved the bell, we can continue on. I brought the lockpick with me because we came to this area. Whoa, whoa, no! See what do we got in here? More darts. For a weapon I am not using. Park key. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna be going into the park. More of those. I might as well just take that with me, I guess. I guess. Do I have more? Yes, I do. Nope. Then, I guess let's put away the shotgun for now. You know, save those rounds. There's another uh, thing I pick up for that. It's a. I can get a scope. Oh, more ink ribbons. More. Photo E. The zombies are attacking. The zombams are attacking. Yeah, let's put those ink ribbons away. Sorry, I'm answering a text. Uh, well, we got, uh... I think one more fight where he dropped something. Mm. 
And that is the unlimited ammo. So let us go. I don't know what I'm going to use the unlimited ammo on. Take that, Charlie. I no longer need the key, so I will dispose of the key. Okay, there's something else here. Oh, you're over there. Well, come up and join the party. You missed, hot shot. that froggy lips oh oh you freaking got me surprised that didn't drop me down to nothing or at least to caution oh I was getting lucky on the damage they were doing. Yeah, sure. He's holding something. Wasn't he holding the key? <laughs> Mission objectives. Obtain a secure sample of all information pertaining to the case. Observe and record combat data on USB USBCS. Destroy all evidence, including the medical facility, that the medical treatment data. Check the getting bits of... Okay. So basically, they were using the uh, the mercenaries that they hired to basically test their uh, their BOWs, and they're going to dispatch them. Uh, once your mission is complete, remember that you must not help anyone who is not a supervisor, nor bring anything back that might be traced to work belongs. So it's basically a scrub mission from the start. Hence why, uh, thank you. Why Nikolai's killing off everybody who's a supervisor. Oh, rear gate. Okay, so I need another key for that. Any herbs around here? Por favor. Would be nice. One thing that I wish they did that uh, in the main series that they did do in the Outbreak series was... Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Finally, I could cry. Oh. After the drought. And I have not been poisoned. Oh, I got poisoned once. Um, but you didn't see it. 
It was one of the times where I kept screwing up. Oh. Pardon me, I'm gassy really bad. I ate a, uh... Go! I ate a, uh, black bean, uh, veggie burger for lunch, and it's, uh, giving me the, the burps. And they're kind of like hiccup burps, I call them hibberts. Even though I'm at caution right now, I'm not going to heal. Yeah, you because know, I've been wasting enough of my supplies as is, right? Okay. Let's go. Now I just need to find out where this key goes. Where this key goo. Anyway, as I was saying, um, about uh, one thing I wish that they did in the main series while it was in Raccoon City that they didn't do, but they did it in the offshoot games, uh, was having the like a zoo outbreak. Okay, I'm... Nope. Is that they go to a zoo. That would be great. Okay, so... Manipulate the fountain! Let's try... I don't quite get the point of that, but... Oh, okay. Black, black, white. Drain in the fountain. Much bloop. Yes, we will. I don't like the color of the water. I don't like that either. Okay, just go up the ladder. Oh no. I'm I'm kind of remembering something. Like ah oh, damn. Oh, more red herbs. Hooray. Oh, 
Like, I get also get the whole thing with zombies. You know, they're undead, but this is a... You have to be infected while, in, while you're alive to, you know, become a zombie. Because there isn't any pretense of someone who has been dead and then injected with a T-virus becoming a zombie. Um, you know, that just isn't a thing in the series. As far as I know, I should say. Okay, so... We're gonna definitely take these. So we need to do some other stuff. I think this is a safe spot. It is. For the first aid on the floor. I'll take that. Thank you. I mean, it is helpful. Any, uh, anything like that is helpful. I'm not putting it in the first aid kit because I don't have more than one and it would kind of be a waste to uh, you know put it in one because then I would have to take it out and if I used it then that wouldn't use up an I uh, use up an item slot yes we will still don't have high quality shotgun shells yet which is kind of a bummer still not going to use that for now um, going to save those going to pull out an ink ribbon if I can find them Yes, we will. We'll go a little bit further. My last couple episodes have been a little on the shorter side. Gravy yard. Is that something on the floor? Looks like something I might potentially be able to pick up. That was some fast burning. Oh, buy lighter. Some fast burning wood. Yeah. Yeah. Kaplop. Oh, what do we have here? The endurance ability of the contaminated guinea pigs is truly incredible. Even when shot shot in a vital area, they can sometimes survive for several days without taking care of the wound. However, after prolonged exposure to the exposure exposure to the virus, the guinea pig's intelligence level decreases to that of an insect. Even though reviving the dead seems too disgusting, the virus seems to be of use. If we inject the virus into our POWs, and release them, they would return to their units and become turned into zombies. This plan may well work for us in the future. So that's a that's a horrible freaking thing. 
In certain areas, the virus seems to have caused the mutation of animals and plants. It may it may be difficult, but I'll make a good sample for the bioweapon development. I've heard that there's a giant alligator, but I've only encountered a giant creature moving underground. I don't even want to imagine what creature spawned that monster. I encountered Nemesis, and his name is not Nemesis, it's Betty Spaghetti, get with the program. If I didn't know about it, I'd have been contaminated and would have become one of them by now. If it's still walking around in the city, its mission is not yet over. STARS members must be very tough since they have survived until this point. However, they cannot hold out forever. Very true. <sighs> Attention, the Raccoon City Project has been abandoned. Our political maneuvering in the Senate for delay for their plans is now futile. All supervisors should evacuate immediately. The U.S. Army is going to execute their plan tomorrow morning. The city will be obliterated by daybreak for sure. So, the, there's going to be a massive cover-up. Yes. Why, hey, howdy, hey. I'll take you today. Seems to be a place to store weapons, but is there anything more? I need to check that code on the wall. That's an ink ribbon. Blast. Another dead soldier. You got anything? Nope. Set to auto receive mode. All supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors return immediately. Over. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Oh. Another mutant! You pussy. I think we'll end this episode here. Thank you again for joining me. Again, my name is Score Chaser. Have an amazing day. I hope you all stay awesome because you always are awesome. And that made no sense. Woo! Again, tired. <laughs> Bye.